up y'all this your girl gears again yes i'm back this is my last video for the night this is the tag video um before i start i want to just say that if you're under the age of 18 please don't continue on with this video because i'm going to be saying some things that are not right for you to hear if you have sensitive ears for swearing please don't continue on with this video because y'all know how i gets down so this 10 question tag i was tagged by lady pink aka Pink Pussycat here on YouTube. What up, girl? I had to do this tag. I normally don't even do tags, but, you know, I had to do this tag because I wanted to make a public service announcement on 10 things I hate about you motherfucking men. Yes, 10 things that turns me off. Okay, I'm going to start from 10 to 1. Okay, from, from 10, what turns me off is when a guy... Actually looks good, fresh haircut. You can tell he got a fresh do. You know what I'm saying? He all, you know, t edged up and shit and looking good. You know, he got on a new outfit and shit. But then when you get to the shoes, they dirty. Where the fuck they do that at? I really don't know. Like, I actually ran into this guy that tried to holler at me at the gas station. And he looked good. And he was, like, hidden by his car because he was on the other side of the car. So he looked good from just, like, the head to about right here. So when he came from around the car to try to get my number, I was like, okay, okay. No, no. Like I said before in my other videos you got to do like this when you meet a guy when you get to those shoes and those shoes are dirty or ugly or raggedy no now if you can tell if a guy just came from work if he came for work you better holler at that man but if you looking at those shoes and he got on a new outfit and those shoes are dirty with that new outfit girl walk on by at least that's what i'll do but that's number 10 number nine when a guy texts while you're hey. on a date when a guy texts during a date and i know you guys probably don't agree with me with this one but this is just what my own theory is when a guy texts during a date and you're probably thinking gigs that's some shit that females do and you absolutely right and this makes my motherfucking point you expect a female to text during the date and the reason why we do that is because that guy is not holding up his other end of the bar a conversation so what we're doing is texting our homegirl saying man i can't wait till this motherfucking date is over with so this man could take me home i should have just went to the club or I should have just stayed at home and ate some ice cream or some shit that's what we're texting but see when a guy texts my theory is he's texting his homeboy like man this conversation is boring but I just can't wait till the end of this date so I can smash that's my theory and I'm gonna stick to that motherfucking theory now y'all can't tell me nothing about that because see like I said that's some shit that bitches do text during the day but dudes now y'all y'all almost got me saying nigga but dudes dudes no they don't do that shit the only reason why they would do that shit is because they homeboy is checking up on them trying to figure out where they're at in the day and did he smash yet yes i said it that's my theory and i'm gonna stick to it okay number eight number eight i hate it absolutely hate it when a guy is fucking musky. Now I understand when you just got home from work and everything and you're tired or whatever. You just want to sit down for a minute and everything. But if you don't take your motherfucking ass to the shower before you reach your musky ass arms out to hug me. Hell no. I hate that shit. I really do. That's one major turn off. And if you know you musky, do not go out in public places like grocery stores. Oh my God, I swear to God, y'all. I went to Publix the other day. And the dude that was carrying my bags out. Because yes, I do have the grocery guys carrying my bags out. I like it. I don't know why. That's just something that I like to do. You probably don't do it, but yes, I do it. But his ass didn't only carry those bags out. His ass carried the smell of death. Because I almost died following his ass. I was like, what in the fuck is in those bags that is so funky? And then when I got up on him, I was like, oh my God. I almost died, y'all. I did. Number seven. When a guy chews with his mouth open. I don't even have to c comment on that. That's it. When a guy chews with his mouth open, I am done. I'm serious. Done. Number six makes me want to go ahead and pull out my fake cigarette for this one, y'all. Number six, 
when a man gossips more than a bitch. Yes, I said it. There are some men out there that gossips more than a bitch. You can find them in a barber shop. You can find them at wherever you find men at a poker game. They gossip more than bitches. Now, I know you probably like, damn, why we got to be bitches? Look, it is not what they call you. It's what you answer to. So, if you get offended by me saying bitch or nigga or whatever, then bitch nigga. You feel me? Anyways, this is a prime example of people not people let me take that back men gossiping like women ladies i know you can agree with me on this one have you ever been in a relationship with a guy right let me take a puff and you find out this nigga cheating and when you find out he's cheating, you happen to talk to the bitch that he's cheating on you with. When this bitch can tell you everything about yourself and everything you did since June to motherfucking December, you know that that man gossiped like a bitch because he told her every fucking thing that went on in your house. That is a major turn off. I really hate that shit. I can't sit here and let a man... We out on the first date and he's telling me everything about his best friend and his friend and who they fucking and all this other shit. I know that motherfucker gonna run and tell my business too. So that is a major turn off. That's number six. Number five. When a guy is so pushy on a first date wanting sex already. You don't know my name. You don't know nothing about me. But all you can think about is getting in between my legs. That's a major turn off. Number four, when you are talking about sex, you talking about you going to smack it up, flip it, rub it down, eat it, beat it, and do this and do that. And when it's finally time to do the do and you come up short and then you ain't beating nothing because sometimes they say it ain't the size that counts it's the motion in the ocean but ain't no motion in your ocean and your size really don't count that's a major turn off huh. number three if a guy tries to holler at my friend now this happens all the time at the club a guy tries to holler at my friend and she like nah she don't want to holler at you he look over to me and he trying to holler at me. Right after you just tried to holler at my friend, I seen you. No. Again, if you hear a person call you a bitch, it's not what they call you, it's what you answer to. But, would you like to hear a man on your date? talking about his ex calling her a bitch and a hoe and in the back of my mind when they do that I'm like well you was with the bitch you love that hoe you know that's what I'm thinking cause I know that if we do expand and we become a couple and then after we break up I'm gonna be the next bitch and hoe you feel me and I hate that shit when you talk to a guy and a guy gets mad at you and shit and the shit just not going his way you gotta be all the fat bitches in the book but when you was with him he was all up in you fat bitch you feel me like that's just crazy I, got, I gotta be a fat bitch now but back then I wasn't a fat bitch that's a major turn off. Number one. I ain't saying I'm a gold digger. But I ain't fucking with no broke nigga. I'm sorry. I can't fucking do it. My mom taught me how to save money and use my money wisely. I am very independent. I'm not out here asking you for your credit cards. I'm not out here asking you for a uh, bill to be paid or anything. Because I pay my own rent. I have my own car. And I also take care of any other expenses that I have to take care of, baby. I live on my own. You feel me? Everything I do, I do for myself. Now, if I happen to find a man that is equal to me i am fine with that but anyone below equal i'm sorry i can't fuck with you because i'm not the bbw that pays for a guy no those are the ones that has low self-esteem and try to buy love they need to work on themselves and get themselves up to here and stop being down there because i really really hate to be stereotyped as the one that is a piggy bank i hate that shit most guys look at a big girl and think that she's supposed to come out of her pockets fuck no you got the wrong bitch. The wrong big bitch at that. Wrong one. I'm sorry. But anyways, I really, really enjoyed this tag. 
I'm tagging anybody who wants to do this tag. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll holla. Bye.